London pressure was growing in Britain on Thursday to withdraw President Trump's invitation for a state visit, as transatlantic tensions increased over his decision to share far-right videos, and then to rebuke Prime Minister Theresa May after she criticized his actions. The dispute has become an acute embarrassment for the British government, which on Thursday insisted it still enjoys a special relationship with the United States, and for Mrs. May, who has worked hard to cultivate close ties with Mr. Trump, only to be drawn into a public argument with him. Speaking from Jordan, where she is on an official visit, Mrs. May sought to thread the needle on the issue, criticizing Mr. Trump but maintaining that his visit would go ahead. I am very clear that retweeting from Britain first was the wrong thing to do, she said at a news conference, adding, the invitation for a state visit has been extended, and has been accepted. We have yet to set a date. Across the political spectrum, British politicians have reacted with incredulity to Mr. Trump's decision to retweet three inflammatory videos posted online by the far-right group Britain First, and they held an urgent debate on the matter in Parliament on Thursday. Opposition politicians demanded that the idea of a state visit should be dropped, with some critics arguing that it would place Queen Elizabeth II, as host, in an invidious position. The mayor of London, Sadiq Khan who was involved in a separate dispute with President Trump after a terrorist attack in London went further than that on Twitter, saying that the president should not be invited on any official visit to Britain, not just one with full pomp and ceremony. Nor was the anger confined to opposition lawmakers. Sajid Javid, a Muslim member of Mrs. May's conservative cabinet, tweeted a strong condemnation on Wednesday of Mr. Trump's decision to share the videos. On Thursday the Home Secretary, Amber Rudd, appeared to agree with one conservative lawmaker, Peter Bone, who suggested that President Trump should delete his Twitter account, saying, many will share his view. But while condemning the president's actions, Ms. Rudd sought to calm the dispute. President Donald Trump was wrong to retweet videos post by the far-right group Britain First, Ms. Rudd said in Parliament, while appealing to lawmakers to remember the wider picture, and in particular Britain's close security and intelligence cooperation with the United States. Pressed for a reaction to the Britain First retweets, Mrs. May's spokesman said on Wednesday that it was wrong for the president to have done this, only for Mr. Trump to respond by addressing Mrs. May directly on Twitter, telling her, don't focus on me, focus on the destructive radical Islamic terrorism that is taking place within the United Kingdom. We are doing just fine. The president initially used an incorrect Twitter handle for Mrs. May, later correcting his mistake. On Thursday, Mrs. May's spokesman insisted that Britain had a very long, very deep and very important special relationship with the United States, and that nothing had changed regarding the state visit, for which a date would be announced in due course. That invitation to Mr.